Hello there everyone, welcome back, it's Jen. Today I'm taking you through Dollarama. Dollarama is a dollar store in Canada. Items range $1 to $4 and we're gonna shop exciting new finds. So I came across these metallic laundry bins. I have never seen these before, they are $4. We have them in this rose gold color and silver. Again, something I've never seen before. This looks like flooring. It's very bendable, I guess you would say, but the wood grain on it look quite nice. So uh, if anyone has tried this, please let me know. I have no idea how much it was. There was no pricing on it. I'm assuming these pieces were so long, probably $4 each. That was just really intriguing. So this Dollarama is a different Dollarama than I normally go to. And they had so many, so many mats and rugs. They had these great, big, beautiful cotton rugs as well. All these runners, they were so long. These fuzzy throws are amazing. For $4, you can't beat them. Some really nice pillows today. They're getting all of their stuff ready for outdoors and spring patio season. And these storage containers were fantastic. Look at all those tropical leaves and plants on there. The toucans, the flamingos. I am in love with these. I think these are brand new. I've never seen these before. If they had them last year, I don't remember. These ones were really pretty too. Quite a generous size. I like that pattern on the outside. How fun for all your pasta dishes. These little plates or bowls. I guess they were more like bowls. So many gorgeous coffee mugs. Lots of new ones as well. So I'm just going to go through them all and scan over for you. I love these pink and gray ones. So pretty. They would be nice for spring as well. Some nice blue and white options. Some of them I've seen before, but some of them are new. These ones are definitely newer. Today is a good day to have a good day. Of course it is. It's a good day to have a good day. Open a book and open your mind. I thought these were really nice to make some fruity drinks in over summer. I just really like the shape of them. And then these were new, the print I hadn't seen previous. So they are a nice big plate. This was the large size plate. And then this set also came with a smaller sized plate. I just really like the plate on, or sorry, print on this plate. This looks a little bit like a feather leaf kind of and then they also had bowls in the picture this still kind of looks like a plate but if you look carefully you can see it dip down it is a bowl restock on these acacia wood cutting boards they have the paddle style and the block here some really cute sleep masks full size crest pro health mouthwash and listerine this is a cute little cosmetic bag. Some Biore charcoal wipes. I thought that was probably a pretty good deal. And this location had all kinds of Batiste dry hair shampoo. I've been not able to find that at Dollarama in so long. Axe. These were multi-packs of four soap. I'm just going to do a scan over of the wood section, the craft section, because this... Like I said, this dollar Dollarama is completely different than the one I normally go to. I'm just walking along here because somebody was heading up behind. So these I've never seen before either. Life is crazy. Let's get cozy. There were just some nice hanging signs and they were quite a thick wood. I thought these were so lovely. Bless this kitchen. Big, huge wood paddle boards. Some hooks on them. Great to hang some of your tent utensils off. Oh, look at these butterflies. Aren't they pretty? Never stop dreaming. Lots of different stuff at this location. It's amazing how no two stores are created equal. These were pretty also. 
They had a marble look to them. They were very breakable material. And this one had a gold splatter or rose gold all running through it. So now I'm going to do a scan over of the seasonal aisle. Everything that this Dollarama had put out so far for spring. A lot of it is repeat from year to year. If I spy anything new, I will definitely point it out to you. I love those bird hanging chimes. I think they're pretty with the leaves hanging down off them. Lots and lots of these metal signs. These bikes, I don't recall seeing these before. They were quite a generous size. I think they'll probably go pretty quick for garden decor. Water cans were really nice too. All kinds of decorative hooks. And fencing, they're starting to put all that out. Some bird feeders, bird houses. Those were quite cute. Lots and lots of garden decor, some planter pots. Scan over here, just moving to the other side now. So here we have some more planter pots. And here's some plastic ones. Great big large ones, all different sizes, colors, soil bags. They have grass seed, they have fertilizer. All right, so now we're heading into the St. Patrick's Day section at this store. This store had quite a bit as well. It doesn't seem like, I don't know if they're going to sell very much this year for St. Patrick's Day. I just, it doesn't seem like this stuff is moving. So in any of the locations, as you can see, everything is just so full. And a lot of the locations have had it out since the new year. At Dollarama, everything came out come the new year. It was bang, bang, bang. Valentine, St. Patrick's, and Easter. It's been out since January. And I'm going to walk through the Easter at this location as well because I was shocked how much different they had here. So I just want you guys to be able to have a look and see. I'm not going to go too into depth with it all just going to walk over and scan if you want to you if something catches your eye just pause the video you can also do that I do mention that you can pause the video and scan through at your own speed sometimes I get people who say you're going too slow sometimes I get people saying you're going too fast well don't forget you can pause it and go at your own speed they have these little mini carrot packages these ones are glittered and they're made of a styrofoam I thought these pens were just adorable with the pom-pom and the bunny ears on the top. They were only $1.25 too. They had the white and the pink. May have had other colors, but there was only those three left. That was something I had never seen before. Lots of do-it-your-own painting kits. Those are fun for kiddos. So many stickers. craft kits. I thought these were so cute. I think they were little erasers maybe, but they look like the birdies were hatching out of their eggs. Notepads, erasers. This location had their Easter floral all set up beautifully. Isn't that just gorgeous to look at? All those garlands, spring vibes, mega so we had all kinds of these huge rabbits on stakes and beautiful wreaths look at all the wreaths we had bunny shapes egg shapes gorgeous colors baskets filled with floral banners hanging decorations 
covers for your door, huge mass of googly eyes, so many wall clings and stickers, some hanging signs, door knockers, and then bags and bags of Easter eggs, garlands, tinsel garland, bows. I just can't believe all the different stuff this store has. Basket accessories. This location had the four piece, as you can see, of carrots here made of twine. Here we're getting into all Easter eggs. So again, this location had different baskets than I had seen previously. And look at all these little kids' lawn chairs. Fantastic. Some woven baskets, all the wicker type baskets. I just could not believe the amount of baskets this location had was literally a whole aisle dedicated to baskets. Aren't these beautiful? Now we're getting into more of the tin metal baskets and then some plastic, all the Easter grass. No shortage of that here either more eggs. Look at it, the whole wall. Now I'm going to share with you the decor pieces that this location had. Here I didn't spy anything too new that I hadn't seen previously, but we'll scan it nonetheless. And the paper plates and napkins. And that's where we're going to end it for today's Dollarama walkthrough. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you spied anything you're interested in, I hope you will see them at your Dollaramas very soon. Thank you so much for joining me and spending a few minutes. If you're new, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join my amazing YouTube community. Sending you all good vibes and positivity. And I'm going to see you all in the next one.